This just in, we discovered some features on the KO and we need to let you know about it. But first, a word from our sponsor. Thanks Chuck, this video is brought to you by Ollie Loops, maker of finely crafted artisan delicacies. Now back to you, Bob. For those that don't know, the KO has two sampling engines, melodic and drum. The drum section automatically slices samples of any length that you record into this section into 16 slices based on the transience of the sample. Although this feature is nice to have and makes building custom drum kits challenging, until now. Okay, let's start by sampling something. If we sample a drum break into this drum section, we can see how this feature traditionally works. Sampling two bars should help our slices fall evenly into 16 steps. Hold record and select the sound slot from 9 to 16 just past two bars. We can see that the slices aren't perfect, but we can spend a moment adjusting the trim points. Adjust the start and end points of each sample in the trim menu using knobs A and B. Pro tip, remember to wait five seconds after you adjust the trim point to save the adjustment. After a bit of time, we'll have our slices just how we want them, but this process can be a bit time consuming. To speed up this process a bit, we can sample into the melodic section first. But that doesn't slice the drum samples. True, but it does allow us to use one of the hidden features of the KO. Dun, dun, dun. So let's sample two bars into the melodic section. Let's adjust the trim points of our sample so that we have a perfect loop. Now copy the sample from the melodic section to the drum section. Hold right in sound and select the drum sound slot from 9 to 16 where you want to paste the sample. Upon pasting it, the KO slices the sample into evenly divided slices, regardless of the transients. A straightforward beat should divide nicely and minimize the amount of time trimming needs to be done. But wait, there's more. We saved the best for last. Shout out to Maddie A at the Space Boat Crew for showing us this one. Check this out. In addition to pasting the sound into the drum sound slot and having it be auto sliced, you can also copy and paste the sample into individual steps within the drum sound without using the slicing feature. This is a game changer for this device. So we still have our drum break sample in the melodic section. Copy that by pressing right and sound and then select the drum sound slot. But without letting go of right and sound, now select the step from 1 to 16 where you want to paste your sample. If you were to trim the sample in the melodic section before you copy it, the KO will retain the trim points when you paste it. But you still have the entire sample in the drum slot, so you can still adjust it later. Now the implications of this means that you can use the drum sampler to build whatever drum kit you want by bypassing the auto slicing feature. So the workflow is this, sample an individual drum hit into the melodic section. Trim it how you like. Copy and paste it into a drum sound slot, then the individual step you want. Now sample another drum hit and repeat. You can now have a custom drum kit made of individual samples arranged in the kit how you like. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Now for another word from our sponsor. Millions of animals are in need of help, and Ollie Loops needs your help to get millions of subs. By subscribing, you're supporting our channel, and we're able to support this rescue animal and make awesome content. Thanks for your support. Who rescued you? All right, before we go, we want to hear from you. Please leave a comment below. Let us know if you have a tip or trick to share or if you enjoyed the video.